dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. Oh. Bad ladybird. <laughs> what shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! <laughs> Dave. That's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <coughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> He wants his tummy tickled. Aww. How cute. <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly. Home time. Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the sea so blue. Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Ah, an elf. No, it's me. The elf's boat is really, really big. No problem. We can do big. And we need duck legs. Oh, really? Then duck legs it is. Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front. That breathes fire. The twins have escaped! <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the daisy and poppy alarm! This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies! Walkies! Trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time 
Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas. <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana. <laughs> oh, darlings. There you are. I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. Gaston! Good old Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston? Run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. <coughs> no, Gaston. Out. Out. <coughs> What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <coughs> <gasps> then there's no time to lose. <coughs> Lead the way, Gaston. <coughs> Hello? Nanny Plum! Thank goodness you're here! We're trapped! Hang on! I'll just magic the door open! <laughs> oh! It doesn't work! No! Because the door is sealed with dwarf magic! You have to answer a question! What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <laughs> oh. 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 This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. <laughs> uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue, our go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum? The Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Hmm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, uh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue. I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> Elf rescue! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Ooh. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Okay. Day 
were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! me. I'll, I'll do it. it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Oh! oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. Our magic is home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home. And we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? But what if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. 
Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes! Amazing! Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly blood! Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick. That's why. Oh, Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> here, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because Nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof. If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. Ah, 
I have to warn Mrs Elf! And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Ah, uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs, something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! <laughs> ah, my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry. I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes. So I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! It's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday. holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> Aw, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on! Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. <coughs> That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. 
Mmm, delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. I can't help it. Sorry. He's really good at picking blackberries. Yes. The thorns don't bother me. I have a thick skin. Why don't we ask the gnome if he'll pick blackberries for us? Clever Holly! Then we can still have our harvest. And our harvest dance. Harvest dance? Oh, I like dancing. Can I come? No! I'll take that as a yes. What time does it start? Mr Nine, you can come to the dance if you pick some blackberries for us. It's a deal. We'd like this truck filled up with blackberries. Thank you. No problem. One blackberry coming up. Oh, it's a nice one. <coughs> Delicious. Not in your mouth, in the truck. Quick, into the houses! Close the windows and doors! Oh, did I just see little windows in the toadstools? All right, gather round, children. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie! Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools! Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah! Big people! <laughs> big people! Everyone into the tree! Good. It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew. That was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh. They're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy! Daddy! Big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good. Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time! Holly! Breakfast! No time, Daddy. A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Ben, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum. I'm off to see the shooting star. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star. It fell out of the sky. Excellent. So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <gasps> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Bleep! Bloop. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> Hello, 
I'm your new nursery teacher, and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere. But I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. Thank you, elf boy. Oh, elf man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! <laughs> the whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain ice queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast! Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> The little girl we met at the farm. And her dad's with her. It's so pretty here. Yes, Dad. It's a shame we've got to dig it all up. Dig it all up? Why? To make room for the cows. Cows? In the meadow? They're ginormous. The cows can graze in this meadow. Oh. We just need to flatten these molehills. That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. <laughs> Gaston, they're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no. The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. 
You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK, I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Oops! Holly! Now I'm big! Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great! Now we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> big people are coming! Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry, you look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or well, you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No toys in class! That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Good 
work, chaps. Keep it going. Hello. I want to speak to the boss. Is he? Hang on a minute. Oi, lads. Just pop down a second, OK? Right. You were saying? I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Pop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Hmm, <laughs> nice healthy teeth. <laughs> Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker. For a very brave boy. <laughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. <laughs> We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes. That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh. Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look. Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. 
Give them up to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. What's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about Pirate's Honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. There, that's the Queen Bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. Oh. So what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees! <sighs> Why doesn't he say what he means? Eh, 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 what, what happened? Right, so just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good, now it will be much safer. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. You're my best friend. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh, well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. Fog! Coming towards us! Fog? That's bad. Can we go home now? No! We've got more adventuring to do. I 
can see lights. It looks like another ship. Why, blow me down. That'd be the ship of my friend, Captain Squid. Ahoy there, Captain Squid. Funny, there's no one on deck. It's very quiet. Hello! Hello! Anyone home? Look, there's a meal on the table. It's still hot, but there's no one here. Meal on the table, but the boat's empty. This is certainly a mystery. Ooh. No one will never, ever know what happened to poor old Captain Squid. A mystery that will never be solved. Here's a note. Gone to bury treasure, back in five minutes. Oh, that solves it then. So, where do you think Captain Squid is? Mmm, where would you bury treasure around here? The end, end of, of the, the rainbow. rainbow! The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That'll be the gold Captain Squid's burying. Come on, let's get after him. It's not getting any closer. That's the thing about rainbows. When you walk towards them, they go further away. We're not going to walk there. We're going to fly. Fly? But you're an elf. You don't have any wings. Yes, but I'm an elf with a parrot. Ah, he's a mate. Saddle up, shipmates. Let's start the music. Hello there. Ah! The nine! Evening, all. Get out of the way. We're waiting for a very important person. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? King Leopold. That's me. <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh. There's the birthday cake. <laughs> Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad, Ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, we yeah. could dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. promise. To yeah, keep yeah, out of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. 
Look! Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practicing. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> 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 Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <laughs> That was horrific! You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it! No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing! Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK. Well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. Rock-hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes! <laughs> Queen's baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone! Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes? Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. <laughs>